Bishop Logan, we have entered the year of reconciliation. What are your hopes and expectations for this year in the life of our diocese? My hopes and expectations uh, really build upon what we did last year with the Sacred Journey and the beginning of uh, building new and renewed relationships with the First Peoples on the islands. I said last year that although we had walked some 500 kilometres on the Sacred Journey, it was only just one step on what will be a long journey of reconciliation with First Peoples. So that's part of my hope as we move into this year of reconciliation. Part of my goal is we continue to deepen and uh, form those relationships with the First Peoples on the island. The other hopes I have is that we, we start working with congregations um, at a variety of levels with uh, the whole concept of reconciliation. I find that within parishes there is a certain level of stress uh, that is there because of the lack of resources and the need for us to work with what we would see as conflict, uh, different ways of looking at the world, different ways of looking at God, and that puts stress on particular congregations. And to stop that becoming dispute, but to move that, move that into more creativity and innovation within the life of the, the, the diocese, not to see conflict as a bad thing, but as something we can build upon. So that's one level. The other level is, uh, what does it mean for me personally uh, to look at reconciliation? And our hope is to build uh, within the diocese an annual pilgrimage, which will take place in the Cowichan region, and uh, allow people to, to go on pilgrimage uh, through the Cowichan region, through the parishes, and do some work personally on reconciliation. I have a, a book that I'm going to share with the clergy of the diocese, and that book is on, it's called Reconcile, and it'll be an opportunity for them to do some work through a study guide uh, on reconciliation and what it looks like, what dispute resolution looks like. Because ultimately my goal over this year is to have stepping stones. Uh, the clergy events will be part of that, the pilgrimage will be part of that, the We Together conference, which is growing within the life of the diocese. I'm hoping that we get more and more parishioners there. And what we'll do is we'll do some work around about teaching, but also uh, some work which will allow people to practice some activities around reconciliation and what that looks like as we move ahead. Obviously in parishes when they start co have conversations about reconciliation, they will come up with other ideas and I'm hoping that they feed that back to me in my office but also to the diocese and post so we can all benefit and share uh, from their experience within the life of the diocese. I encourage the diocese to be really involved in this, to, to grab this opportunity because it opens the door for us in the diocese and vision. Uh, part of our vision is reconciliation and beyond. So we will have a gathering coming up um, shortly, which will uh, really be the doorway, reconciliation will be the doorway into the rest of the diocese and vision. So we'll ask the question, of what does reconciliation have to tell us about emerging communities? What does reconciliation have to say about engaging God's mission to the world? What does reconciliation have to say about youth in the life of the diocese, about the liturgies. What does reconciliation have to say about the island liturgies and expanding that? And what does reconciliation have to say about lay leadership uh, and, and lay ministry within the life of the diocese? So that will be uh, an ongoing event within the, the, the life of the diocese as we move ahead. So I'm excited about this. I'm hoping the clergy will embrace uh, the work that's before us. And I can see a great benefit in the long term for the whole diocese as we engage in the year of reconciliation.